to all the pastors, seminarians, and congregation members who are joining for the testimony on the revelation of the Old and New Testaments by Chapter Shincheonji Online Seminar. Welcome. I am Instructor Ku Char Yong, your presider for today. Last time, we were able to look at the word regarding the son who receives the inheritance through the instructor from Bartholomew tribe. The reason why Shincheonji Church of Jesus can testify to the meaning and the true reality of the parables is first, that all the parables were opened at the promised time and also that there exists the promised shepherd who has seen and heard all the hidden secrets of heaven alongside of Jesus. Then today, we hope that this will be a valuable time to check the testimony on the parables and reality of the Old and New Testaments by chapter and gain precious perception. Then first, let's pray together with a united heart. Father God, creator of the heavens and the earth, and the one who is sovereign over all life and blessings for all people, we sincerely thank you for allowing us to receive the testimony on the revelation of the Old and New Testaments by chapter today. At this time, for all pastors, seminarians, and congregation members who are listening to this message from all over the world, please grant us the eyes to see, the ears to hear, and hearts to understand so that it can be a time of overflowing grace. And won't you please control the lips of the instructor who testifies to the word today. We pray this all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now will be the time to hear the testimony regarding the parables and their reality. The word testified to today will be Lesson 21, Persecution and the Kingdom of Victory, Shincheonji. I hope that it will be a time for you to open your heart wide and gain valuable perception as you listen to the word. We will now welcome instructor Kang Tae-un of Matthew Tribe who will deliver the word today. Pastors, theology students, and believers from all over the world who hope in heaven, greetings. My name is Kang Tae-yoon, the head instructor of Mansu Church of Matthew Tribe of Shincheonji Church of Jesus. I sincerely thank you for attending Shincheonji Online Seminar of the Testimony on the Revelation of the Old and New Testaments by Chapter. God's words that we'll be looking at today is Intermediate Lesson number 21, Persecution and the Kingdom of Victory, Shincheonji. Main reference, John chapter 8. And we'll also look at Matthew chapter 10, Matthew chapter 25, John chapter 16, Revelation chapter 7, Revelation chapter 14, and chapter 21. Regarding today's topic of persecution and the kingdom of victory, Shincheonji, there may be pastors who know this from reading the Bible often, and pastors who may not be too familiar with it. But I hope that we can give our ears to today's lecture and make this a time of clearly perceiving God's will. First, let's learn about persecution. Examining the work of persecution shown in the Bible, we can see that there are two kinds of spirits at work in heaven and on earth, which is God, the Holy Spirit, and the devil, an evil spirit that betrayed. The devil betrayed God in his greed to become God himself. And this is the appearance of the evil spirit who betrayed. The evil spirit who appeared in this way deceived Adam, and ultimately Adam became the devil's. Due to Adam's betrayal, 
God left this world, as we can see in Genesis chapter 6. As a result, the devil began to rule over the world. However, God began the work of restoration to take back this world. In every era, God sent His messengers to testify about God's will and His objectives. But every time the devil opposed God to block God from taking back the world, this is why the two kinds of spirits fought in every era and God's messengers were persecuted and killed by the pastors of the world. Ever since the sin of Adam, the world became a world of the devil's reign. It is the devil's world. Therefore, people did not listen to God's words. Instead, they persecuted God's messengers in every era. This is displayed as the work of persecution in the Bible. Through this, we can clearly distinguish those who belong to the devil and those who belong to God, which are the persecutors and the persecuted, respectively. Looking at Matthew chapter 5, verse 9 to 12, Jesus says that blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. Also, the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are persecuted for righteousness. For in the same way, all the prophets were persecuted. Those who belong to the devil persecute like the devil. And through their actions, we can clearly distinguish those who belong to God and those who belong to the devil. Like this, those who belong to God were persecuted all throughout the history of the Bible. One of the major examples is at the first coming. To understand the work of persecution at the first coming, let's read John chapter 8, verse 44 to 47 in one voice. You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Yet, because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Can any of you prove me guilty of sin? If I am telling the truth, why don't you believe me? He who belongs to God hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. Looking at John chapter 8, Verse 45, we can see how Jesus testified to the words of truth at the first coming, which is the law that gives freedom. And as seen in John chapter 8, verse 51, he promised God's will of eternal life. In contrast, the shepherds of Jerusalem spoke lies as evidence in John chapter 8, verse 44, and insisted on the laws of Moses. Instead of believing in eternal life, they persecuted Jesus who testified about life forevermore. Jesus said to the shepherds of Jer Jerusalem that the devil is their father and they speak lies like their father devil does. The shepherds of Jerusalem at the time who were born of the devil's seed all spoke lies. In the midst of all this, Jesus, who is born of God's seed, testified to the truth. But the shepherds of Jerusalem at the time of first coming did not believe in the words of truth. Then why didn't they believe in the words of truth? The reason is because the shepherds of Jerusalem did not belong to God, but they belonged to the devil. As we can see in John chapter 8, verse 47. 
Ultimately, the shepherds of Jerusalem persecuted and killed Jesus and his disciples at the first coming, which clearly proves that the shepherds of Jerusalem at the time of first coming belonged to the devil. However, the work of persecution did not end at the first coming. It continued on to today, Jesus' second coming. What is the current state of believers at the time of second coming? As seen in Matthew chapter 13, verse 39, Jesus said that at the time of harvest, the time of harvest is the end of the age. Therefore, today is the time of Jesus' second coming. The world that comes to an end at the time of Jesus' second coming is the world of believers where God's seed of the word was sown by Jesus. The reason why the world of believers comes to an end is because the current state of the world of believers is as it is shown in Luke chapter 18, verse 8. Through Luke chapter 18, verse 8, Jesus foretold the world of believers. Let's read it. I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Jesus says that when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? The time when the Son of Man comes is at the second coming. Jesus prophesied the state of the world of believers at the time of the second coming in Luke chapter 18, verse 8. That there aren't many with faith, they are corrupted and also rebellious. The reason why there is no one with faith is because Everyone is adding to and subtracting from Revelation, as we can see in Revelation chapter 22, verse 18 to 19. But why do the traditional churches add to and subtract from Revelation? The answer is found in Revelation chapter 5. Looking at Revelation chapter 5, there is a scroll sealed with seven seals in the right hand of God. This book is the book of Revelation. And because it is sealed, there is no one who can open or look inside of this book. Like this, there is no one who understands Revelation. And the reality is that everyone is adding to and subtracting from it. As a result, ultimately, just like the words of Revelation chapter 18, verse 3 and verse 23, all nations have fallen from the wine of adulteries that is, false doctrine or commentaries, and they have married the devil. This is the reality of the world of believers at the time of the second coming as prophesied in the New Testament. Just like these words of prophecies, today's world of churches of tradition have added to and subtracted from revelation and married the spirit of the devil. Also, it is prophesied in the New Testament scriptures a persecution of those who are married to the spirit of the devil. Then moving on, let's find out about persecution of the second coming prophesied in the New Testament. Let's read Matthew chapter 10, verse 17 to 18. Be on your guard against men. They will hand you over to the local councils and flog you in their synagogues. On my account, you will be brought before governors and kings as witnesses to them and to the Gentiles. Jesus prophesied in Matthew chapter 10 that God's appointed workers will receive persecution. Those who belong to the devil will hand over God's appointed workers to the local councils, flog them in the synagogues making known that God's appointed workers will be brought before the governors and kings, meaning the people of authority in the world, and be persecuted. This is the persecution that the disciples at the time received, and furthermore, 
a prophecy of the persecution that God's appointed workers will receive at the time of second coming. And according to this prophecy, today, Shincheonji underwent search and seizure and confinement. This is the persecution that is prophesied in the New Testament of the second coming. And as seen in Matthew chapter 25, at the time of the second coming, they are sheep-like believers. They are the ones who look after their brothers when they are confined in prison. And goat-like believers are those who do not look after their brothers when they are locked up in prison. Through this, we can understand that at the second coming, there are God's appointed workers who will get confined in prison. And just like these words of prophecies, Shin Chunji's appointed workers were confined in a prison, which is another example of persecution taking place at the second coming as prophesied in the New Testament. And Jesus prophesied in John chapter 16, verse 1 to 4, that God's people will be sacrificed. Those who become one with the world will persecute God's people to the point of even killing them and thinking that they're offering service to God. This prophecy also fulfilled today. And four church members of Shincheonji were killed from persecution. This is a very tragic event. And it is the fulfillment of the prophecies of John chapter 16 given by Jesus. So we believe that God and Jesus will repay the persecutors according to what they have done. Also, looking at Luke chapter 17, verse 25, Jesus prophesied that the promised shepherd will suffer many things and be rejected by this generation. Jesus, who comes back in spirit, prophesied about a certain individual saying he, or the one, that is the promised pastor of the New Testament. This promised pastor will suffer many things, and he will be rejected by the churches of tradition. Has, have these words ever come to pass in any other era? No, this prophecy fulfills in today's time. Going to Revelation chapter 11, we can see that the promised shepherd of the New Testament, who is the witness appointed by Jesus, is figuratively killed by the beast from the abyss. As the reality of all these prophecies, the promised shepherd of Shincheonji has suffered many things and continues to suffer to this day. Although the promised shepherd of, of Shincheonji is teaching from the Bible and the will of God and Jesus, which is eternal life, the pastors of the churches of tradition do not believe. They call him heresy and persecute. Like this, at the time of second coming, the pastors of traditional churches and the church members are becoming one with the people of the world and persecuting the promised shepherd and the twelve tribes of Shincheonji. This is the work of persecution of the second coming prophesied in the New Testament scriptures, including inside of Matthew chapter 10 verse 35 and John chapter 16 and Luke chapter 17. Through this, we can know the reality of those who persecute and those who receive persecution. The reality of those who persecute today are the churches of tradition and their church members of Revelation chapter 6. They are misinterpreting God's words of promise and they antagonize everyone who do not belong to them, oppressing and persecuting. They are the devil's sons who are not harvested. And because they are born of the devil's seed, they are not harvested, and together with the devil, they persecute. 
then who are the reality of those who receive persecution today? Yes, you're right. The reality is Revelation chapter 7, the new kingdom and new people, the 12 tribes. They are God's sons, born of God's seed. According to the promise of Revelation chapter 14, they are harvested. And those who are harvested and those who are not are clearly separated as seen in Matthew chapter 13, verse 24 to 30 and verse 37 to 39 at the time of harvest, which is the end of the age. The sons of the devil continue to persecute until they are burned in fire, ultimately. God's sons were harvested, overcome every kind of persecution, and received the blessing of heaven and eternal life. Like this, the new kingdom and new people, that is, the 12 tribes of Shincheonji, is victorious. Let's find out the process it took to be victorious. Let's look at, now, the kingdom of victory, Shincheonji. The fact that they are victorious means that they fought a war and were victorious. Looking at Revelation chapter 13, we can see the first war. At this time, due to the betrayal of the chosen people, those who belong to the devil, win. The second war takes place in Revelation chapter 12. To find out the result of the second war, let's read Revelation chapter 12, verse 9 to 11. The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth, and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation, and the power, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his Christ. For the accuser of our brothers, who accuses them before our God day and night, has been hurled down. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Revelation chapter 12 is regarding the second war. The promised shepherd, him overcomes, and his brothers fought and overcame with the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony against the group of the dragon. This is a spiritual war, and those who belong to God are victorious. Although the chosen people were defeated in the first war, in the second war, those who belong to God, that is, him who overcomes and his brothers, are victorious because they fought with their life on the line and overcame with truth. As a result, of fighting and overcoming the group of the dragon, now comes God's kingdom and salvation. Before this, God's kingdom and salvation did not exist. But from the moment they fight and overcame the group of the dragon, this point on, now, have come God's kingdom and salvation. At this time, God's kingdom that is created as a result of overcoming is Shincheonji, Church of Jesus, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony. It has been created according to the promise of Revelation chapter 15. Like this, Shincheonji is equipped with the words of truth. We have overcome persecution and wars and got established according to the new covenant of Revelation. And God carries out the work of salvation and judgment through those who are victorious. Going to Revelation chapter 15 and 16, those who overcome in Revelation chapter 12, that is, those who are victorious at Shincheonji Church of Jesus, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony, become seven bulls who judge the betrayers and the destroyers. God uses those who fight and overcome the group of the dragon as his bowls of wrath and pours out his wrath upon the betrayers and the destroyers and judges them. Therefore, ultimately, the kingdom of demons, Babylon, get judged 
and comes to an end, as seen in Revelation chapter 18. After the judgment of Babylon, the wedding banquet of the Lamb of Revelation chapter 19 takes place. God's oxen and fattened cattle, that is, the betrayers and the destroyers, are butchered and judged, and people are invited, and together with God and Jesus, and the angels, and the souls of the martyrs come, and begin the wedding banquet of the Lamb. And in Revelation chapter 20, lastly, the dragon is captured and locked up in the abyss, and the first resurrection takes place. Who are those that participate in the first resurrection at this time? Those who participate in the first resurrection are the spirit and flesh of those who participate in the wedding banquet of Revelation chapter 19. That is, the souls of the martyrs and those who did not receive the mark of the beast and survived. The spirit and flesh become one and participate in the first resurrection and reign as kings for a thousand years. Because the soldiers of the dragon are all captured in Revelation chapter 19, there is no army to help the dragon. So the dragon comes to an end, and the world of God's reign and peace is established. Ever since the sin of Adam for the past long 6,000 years, the devil reigned. Therefore, in this world, there is no peace but only persecution and wars. However, the devil ends, and the kingdom of heaven Shincheonji stands as promised in the Bible. And God, He comes to Shincheonji as promised in Revelation chapter 21, verse 1 to 6. Let's read Revelation chapter 21, verse 1 to 6. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To him who is thirsty, I will give to drink without cost from the spring of the water of life. The previous world, which has become corrupted, that is, first heaven and first earth comes to an end, and new heaven and new earth is created. New heaven and new earth, Shincheonji, is the kingdom of victory, which overcame with truth. The fact that Shincheonji has been created through the promised shepherd, him who overcomes, according to the promised process in Revelation, serves as a clear proof that they have overcome with the words of truth. Also, God and the Holy City New Jerusalem, the kingdom of heaven in the spiritual world, descend upon new heaven, new earth. As a result, there is no more death or mourning or crying or pain in new heaven, new earth, Shincheonji. Meaning, everything is accomplished according to what God and Jesus have promised. This is God's will and His objective and the hope of all believers. Then what must believers do in order to fulfill their hope? Yes, that is right. They must come to the kingdom of truth, Shincheonji, where the word of truth is found. Currently, Shincheonji has sealed the 144,000 of the 12 tribes just like the words of Revelation chapter 7, verse 1 to 8. Also, like it says in Revelation chapter 7, verse 9 to 14, after the sealing of the 144,000, a great multitude in white, 
is coming out of a great tribulation. For this work, Shincheonji is testifying to the prophecy and fulfillment of Revelation in 5Ws and 1H through Shincheonji online seminar. And this testimony is given to the entire world. The pastors worldwide who have heard this testimony acknowledge that this is truth and they, they are pleasantly surprised and they are thankful and they welcome it. Numerous churches and denominations have signed MOUs with S. Shincheonji and there are so many more who desire to sign it. Many people are streaming into Shincheonji to learn the truth. There was a hundred thousand graduation in 2019 and we are preparing for another 100,000 graduation at the end of this year. How could this be men's work? It is only possible because God and Jesus are at Shincheonji. What we can know through this is that the kingdom of victory that has been created according to the Bible after overcoming persecution is Shincheonji, Church of Jesus, the Temple of the Tabernacle of Testimony of the Twelve Tribes. The Twelve Tribes of Shincheonji, of Church of Jesus, were persecuted as it was prophesied in Matthew chapter 10 and Matthew chapter 25 and John chapter 16. However, as those who have the best of truth, they overcame. And Shincheonji is testifying to the whole world the news of victory according to the Bible. Therefore, if one is a true believer, then one must not judge with man's authority or size, but choose the place that has the words of truth and live a true faith walk. Let's be those who possess faith that God and Jesus acknowledge and receive the blessing of heaven and eternal life. Now let's look at conclusion. In the Bible, in every generation, there were those who persecute and those who were persecuted. Those who persecute belong to the devil. And those who are persecuted are those who belong to God. And it was the same way in every generation. In every era, those who belong to God were persecuted. And those who belong to the devil, like it says in John chapter 8, lied and persecuted. Therefore, through one's actions, we can clearly see which group belongs to God and which group belongs to the devil. This kind of persecution also takes place today. Today, the reality of those who persecute are the pastors and the church members of traditional churches of Revelation chapter 6. The reality of those who are persecuted are the new kingdom and new people of the twelve tribes of Revelation chapter 7. We must perceive that this kind of persecution is the fulfillment of the prophecies of the New Testament scriptures. At this time, there is a kingdom of victory that is that overcomes persecution and gets created according to the Bible. And the reality is Shincheonji, Church of Jesus, the Temple of the Tabernacle Testimony, the Twelve Tribes. The Twelve Tribes of Shincheonji, Church of Jesus, is a kingdom of victory which has been created according to the New Testament revelation. In the midst of severe suffering and persecution, it has been created by being harvested in Revelation chapter 14, being sealed in Revelation chapter 7. Also, it says in Revelation chapter 21 that God and heaven and the kingdom of heaven is the spiritual world. Come to Shincheonji and become one, and God eternally reigns. Those who belong to God will rejoice when they hear this news, have it as their hope, and come to Shincheonji and become one, whereas those who belong to the devil will be offended and they will continue to persecute. I hope that we can reflect on ourselves to see whether I belong to God or the devil. And those who belong to God, let's become one in truth. Dear beloved pastors, theology students, and church members, did you listen to today's words well? Next time, we're going to go over the law of the new covenant that must be kept with the main reference of Hebrews chapter 8. 
What is the law of the new covenant that we must absolutely keep? And what is the reality of those who keep the law of the new covenant and those who don't? And what is their end result? Let's find out, find out the answers to these things. The instructor who will lecture next time is someone who testifies to the word much better than I do. So please come in great anticipation and great hope in your heart. Let's meet again next time. Lastly, we will shout that we are one in God and also in Jesus. Surpassing ethnicity, nationality, and religion, we are one in God. We are one. Let's pray. Father God, you are the creator of the heavens and the earth and all creation, and you are full of love and grace. We offer up thanks and glory to you for allowing Shincheonji Online Seminar, the revelation of the Old and the New Testaments by chapter. Today, we looked at Intermediate Lesson number 21, titled Persecution and the Kingdom of Victory, Shincheonji. In every generation, those who belong to the devil persecuted those who belong to God. And today, there is persecution according to the Bible. However, please help us to perceive that Shincheonji has overcome with truth. And through this, the world of your reign and peace is achieved. So guide us to enter our hope. Please have every pastor and church members worldwide to meet you, God, through the word and be a joy to you, to God and Jesus, and return glory to you. And please be with everyone who attended the seminar at this time. Allow them health in spirit and also in flesh and have every work be successful. We pray all these words in the name of Jesus who brought us from death to life. Amen. Thank you for listening to the end. Why did God make a new covenant with His people? And what is the covenant that we must keep? And how can we keep it? And also, what is the result of keeping that covenant? We will learn the answers together. He said that he would not eat this Passover meal again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. Then, what is the Passover meal eaten in the kingdom of God? The reality of those who keep the new covenant is so clearly recorded in the prophecies of the four Gospels of the New Testament and in Revelation. Yes, as you saw in the video, the seminar held next time will be on the topic of the law of the new covenant that must be kept. The time is the same as today at 10 a.m. So I hope that everyone will be able to attend and we can all be the ones who are qualified to enter heaven as we so desire and hope. Testimony on the revelation of the Old and New Testaments by chapter, Shincheonji Online Seminar is being broadcast simultaneously in 24 languages around the world through the official YouTube channel of the Shincheonji Church of Jesus. Also, through the Revelation Seminars on Testimony on Prophecy and Fulfillment of Revelation, God's New Covenant, and the Introductory Seminars, Testimony on the Parables of the Secrets of Heaven and Their True Meanings, many pastors and denominations from all over the world are showing great interest and are signing MOUs to become one with Shincheonji Church of Jesus. Then beyond the word covered today, if you have any more questions or inquiries about Shincheonji Church of Jesus and its doctrine, please contact the representative number of each tribe shown on the screen. We will look to provide kind and detailed guidance.
At this time, we will pray the prayer the Lord taught us to pray and end the Shincheonji online seminar. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and power and glory forever and ever. Amen. To everyone who joined us, we sincerely thank you.